everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a play along with the smash that small paper pad collaboration team with deb hauk she's the hostess of this and i thought i would play along this time and use up my farmhouse christmas paper pad i had almost all of it left and so i made a bunch of cards and i have several scraps left over. I also used the chipboard accents from the Club EP kit that this came out of last year. I Was it November, I think? Can't remember for sure, but I had a lot, a lot of this left. And I also used an interpretation of the June 2021 a sheet load of card sketch. I didn't uh, mat this metal piece here, nor did I cut it in half, but I did use the cut aparts for a sentiment, and you'll see that. Okay, here are the scraps that I have left. I wanted to show you this is what I did to the, the on the matting on the, the bigger piece, um, I went ahead and used my ornaments embossing folder. And you can barely see it, but it's, I know it's there. So let's get these out of the way. And I lost count of how many cards I made. It's gotta be 20 something. Okay. 21 cards I made. So far, like I said, there are several more scraps. So, let's get started. This is the pretty basic one. I put, like I said, I, I cut it to the correct measurements, but I put it in the back. And then the matted piece here. And then in the inside, I stamped almost all of them. I stamped them all, actually. I stamped them all Christmas wishes. But as you'll see, I did have a, two or three that are different, and I'll get to that. But that's the basic one. And then I have a print here with the snowflakes. May you never be too grown up to search the skies on Christmas Eve. And then the Christmas wishes in the middle, inside. And then the bigger pieces, I did not have, to, obviously I didn't have to put a strip in the back. These cut aparts were fine. I used the cut aparts where I could because of course it's part of the pad. And then I went to chipboard accents. Merry and bright, there's a pretty print. And then I used, this is a, kind of like a buffalo check and then a plaid with the little flowers so the solids kind of break it up a little then i did use a piece of the the wood grain so i've got white and craft color because that ties in there okay this is the one because it says merry christmas i couldn't then i I had the Christmas wishes stamped. And so I thought, well, I can't really do that. Merry Christmas, Christmas wishes. So I just turned it over and put put the uh, matted piece on there. And that's how, what I did. Same thing here. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And this is my new set. And uh, where is it? That I just got from Stampin' Up. And they're rubber stamps. And in one of my next videos, I'm going to have a little bit about how to put those on. It's pretty straightforward. I appreciate their, their instructions. That helped a lot. Patience is the name of the game. And here's this one. This is a more or less solid, solid with little bitty dots. Put the, the wood grain and then a wreath. Yeah, unless unless it says Merry Christmas on here, um, uh, it's the same Christmas wishes. 
have yourself a merry little Christmas. And that's the only difference there. Because I thought that was really cute. And then, of course, because there was two pages of everything, double-sided. Little Christmas tree. And here's one, Merry Christmas. It goes all the way across. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And here's where I start using my chipboard stickers. Season's greetings. Merry and bright. And I use some more here. Oh, they're not stickers. I'm sorry. Chipboard accents. I did have to use my Tombow glue. And then a big Merry. And I knew it would be fine because I had plenty of card space. Card base space. This is a 100 pound craft cardstock. And then Joy. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And then here's some cute bells. Joy. And a little snowflake. And last but not least, the snowflakes, the pretty print. Merry Christmas with the barn, and of course, this is this is the one that I did double Christmas on. <laughs> you know, not perfect. I am excited to find out what the Christmas set is going to be for this year from Club EP. Be sure to stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.